Uh, dilemma. Uh, Bill, what would you choose? Um, to either have sex with any woman in the world, Nia wouldn't mind. I wouldn't care if she gave a shit. If I had my choice of any fucking woman in the world just to do it one time, uh, that wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be worth it to lose Nia, but it, but my dick would override that wisdom <laughs> in the moment. Um, or to have access to the truth about any government secret in history. What would you do? All right, well, how would I know any government secret in history? Would, would they know that I knew it, and then they'd start tracking me down, and then I'd have to be like fucking Jason Bourne for the rest of my life, never getting to sleep more than five seconds between concussions? Um, all right, first of all, if I could have sex with any woman in the world, who would it be? Uh, let's see here. Well, you got, okay, you got, you got your major groups. I think you have four major groups. You have famous, you have celebrity women. Um, you have uh, like celebrities, like movie stars. Then you have, you have uh, rock star chicks, sports chicks. And then you got chicks from your past, you know, some teacher you always wanted to bang. Any woman in the world, you're going to go back, but she has to be as hot as she was. Oh, this is a dilemma. Oh, by the way, the other day I was at a comedy club, and that that uh, pink was down was actually in the crowd, and uh, I didn't go up or anybody. She walked by, fucking absolutely, like slump against the wall, beautiful, absolutely fucking gorgeous. Um, I'm telling you, some of the, like those fucking like super famous people, like they don't even look real when they walk by you. They're just like they're, they're genetics. Like I don't know what happened, but I'm just like Jesus fucking Christ. You know, I mean, I knew she was good looking, right? I've seen the videos, but everybody looks good in videos, you know. And then half the time you see them in fucking real life. I'll tell you this right now: if you ever see Pink, she does not disappoint. Fucking. Just write down the checklist. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. You know, beautiful fucking dress that was sexy but not slutty. She had the fucking tattoos but not too many of them. Fucking just absolutely uh, fucking gorgeous. I felt like I was in second grade. Um, you know, like when a beautiful girl walks by, you're like, you don't even know what to say. Um, all right, so let's get back to it. So if I could bang any woman in the fucking world. Well, there's two kinds of women. There's the woman that you, you fucking is absolutely gorgeous and makes you believe in an afterlife. And then there's the other girl you want to bang just to shut her the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I bet there's a lot of liberals out there that want to just bang Ann Coulter, just stick their dick right in her fucking mouth. You know what I mean? But not like a totally malicious way. Just really put one on her where she's just fucking losing it and, you know, making noises in bed that she didn't even know she could make. And, uh, you know, and make her be able to make those noises even though she knows that you voted for Obama. You know, there's that kind of fucking, right? And then there's the other one where you just want to fucking... Uh, you know, run down the beach hand in hand with some girl. <laughs> At least in my world, that's the only, those are the only two. What would I do? You know what? I would choose, uh, I would choose sex with any woman in the world because um, that government, learning a government secret, I've actually done that on a certain level. And it just, it's like being in show business is when you're like, wouldn't it be cool to meet this person? And then you meet them and, and they're like the biggest fucking asshole ever. Or they, uh, I don't know, they just like, they just do something that just, it just blows your whole fucking image. It's, it's, it's the Wizard of Oz thing where you, you don't want, you don't want to peek around the corner. You don't want, you don't want to peek around the corner. So what, what I would do is, uh, I would definitely, I, I would, I would, I would. I would have sex with someone. And, and you know what? I'm, it, it would have to be somebody famous. And uh, 
Then out of respect for Nia, it would have to be uh, just a shut him the fuck up kind of woman. Although I would love to run down the beach, you know? Why can't I have that? Why can't I have happiness? All right, let's let's pick one one of each. All right. Is there any girl I just want to just shut the fuck up? I would say back in the day it would have been Madonna, but like she was just she was like beyond annoying. She was so fucking annoying. She was like I I would just want to get out of the room. You know what I mean? He always watches that blonde ambition tour, and there's nothing more nauseating than watching somebody who's surrounded by yes men. You know what I mean? They're just completely fucking obnoxious. Everything they say, everyone's hanging all over every word, and they're just laughing at everything. Like that's you know something. That's one thing that I have learned in this business is uh, a major red flag is somebody who has an entourage. If you have an entourage, like uh, I don't know. I've already I, I I automatically judge you as like all right this person is uh, is not somebody I'm gonna want to fucking be around because the only way I'm gonna be able to exist is this I assimilate into your entourage and when you tell the joke that isn't funny I can't be like I can't look at you like that joke sucks I have to fucking do like what they're doing you know laugh my ass off because you're paying for my hotel room get the fuck out of here right that and and people who don't hang out with peers. You know, maybe they don't have an entourage, but everybody they hang out with is fucking like 10 years behind them in this business. Then that's another that's another red flag because then nobody's calling you out on your shit. Right. That's that's how I look at it. How did I get to that with this shit? You know, what? I'm going to have to get back to you on this one. You know, I'm a fucking 44 year old guy, so I, I don't really sit. You know, when I was younger, I had my my I'll go back in the day. My list. OK, when I was a kid, uh, the bionic woman. All three Charlie's Angels. Um, Farah, I wanted to bang. I had lust for her. Kate Jackson, I would marry. And Jacqueline Smith, you know, it's your fault for standing between the two of them. (laughs) So you're going down too. But, you know, I didn't need Jacqueline Smith. Because I already had the brunette with with fucking uh, Kate Jackson. Um, Then who else? Who else in the 80s? I like What's-Her-Face, the replacement for Shelley Long. Uh, it was in the Look Who's Talking. She came on, had that horse, smoky, horsey fucking smoky voice, whatever the fuck you're supposed to say. It's supposed to sound way more sexier than that. Uh, she had nice fucking curves. Got a little out of control there after a while, but, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> she still has nice hips, I got to tell you. Uh who else? You know what's weird? Florence Henderson, when she had the worst mullet haircut, always turned me on more than when she had that awful fucking... Oh, Marsha. Marsha Brady, when she fucking had the little short skirts on. Fucking uh, Janet Jackson, when she was on uh, Different Strokes. Who else? I just it goes on for fucking ever. I just can't remember anymore. It was never Cindy Lauper, I could tell you that. She just seemed like some spaz little fucking boy to me. Yeah, and then that fucking haircut that she had was she fucking had like a tic tac toe board on the side of her head. That just really freaked me out. Um not that I was totally against that haircut because I thought that chicken, bow, wow, wow, I thought she was hot. Um, who the fuck else? Did I like Lita Ford? Oh, my God. Did I like her? I think I might have. There's somebody back then. I can't fucking remember. Um, anyways, is that the podcast? Can I end on possibly liking Lita Ford? <laughs> All right, if you had to bang any of the runaways, who would you bang? Uh, I would have said Pat Benatar because she was the hottest, but just, you know, knowing that she didn't really want to do it, you know, I'd be, ah, that would be awful. Maybe you could tag team another chick with her. I don't fucking know. All right, listen, this is I got shit to do.